Hi everyone, I'm Pranit from Informatica Global Customer Support and in today's session we will talk about how to create a verifier asset in CDK. In today's session we will cover the various operation of a verifier and various verifier properties followed with a demo. The first operation of the verifier is to verify the address. The second operation is format. So the verifier asset validates the address and sends the output in official postal format. The third operation is enrichment. Here the verifier can provide country and global specific enrichments and also geocodes. The fourth operation is suggest. So the verifier can be used to generate suggestions of addresses based on partial or incomplete addresses input. The next operation of the verifier is to measure the degree of correctness of an address. And the last is certify. So the verifier can also be used to validate addresses as per certified postal standard. So there are four different type of verifier properties that we need to configure. The first is input properties. The second is process properties. The third is result properties. And the final is standardization properties. We will cover this all during the demo. To create a verifier asset, after login, you have to select data quality and then click on new. Here, you can select the verifier asset. To configure the verifier, first we need to define it. Here, we have to first name the verifier asset. I'm, I'm naming it as verifier 5. And the second part is the description where we can put any description of our need. Third is the location. This is the directory where I want to create the verifier. And the last is the dimension. You can select any of these dimensions. As of now, I'm going with none. The next part is the configuration part. The first step of the configuration is to select an input method. By default, hybrid is selected. You can use discrete if you would like to pass all address element in separate fields. If you decide to go ahead with hybrid, you have to pass delivery service information in free flow lines or address lines and rest of the elements like locality, administrator, division, country and all will be passed in separate discrete fields. You can also use multi-line to pass all the values in multiple formatted address lines. For now, I will proceed using hybrid in this demo. So now we will select the input fields. So I'm selecting two address lines followed by postal code locality one. Then I'll proceed with administrative division one and country. Similarly, I will also select the output fields. So I'll select address line 1 and 2 because I want hybrid output as well and I will move to last line I don't want all the values in a single column so I'll go to single address elements to get discrete values for my locality and other parameters And I will also select the status codes like verification status code, result quality and I can also select enrichments here. With this I will save this verifier. And now I'll go to the verifier property. The first properties are the input properties and the first one of them is the input delimiter. Here you can select either of this delimiter to give an instruction to the engine that can use a particular delimiter to differentiate between two address elements. The second is country determination. Here you can say identify country or you can force a country. The next one is default country. Here you can select a country as a default country. So if your input does, has a null value for the country field then the respective default country will be considered as a country. Next part is search for country in. Here you can specify the field in which the engine should look for the country value. 
the next is the process param the first property is the verification mode this property determines the type of verification that the engine pro it, it performs the first one is verification only so here the verification happens without manual intervention the second is verification with suggestion so when you use this mode partial or incomplete address can generate suggestions based on the match values from the reference table and the final one is the certified verification mode on using this mode of veri verification certified postal rules apply during the verification and the verifications are stricter coming to the second property and the third these are preferred verification level and minimum verification level here you can see the preferred verification level is the verification level that is desired or the granular level till which you want to validate the address with and the minimum verification level is the minimum granular level till which you want to validate the address the next property is the result property the first result properties is expand numerical ranges so this property can be used to determine whether your output suggestions contain a range of house addresses or each address in the range are posted as separate addresses the second one is standardize invalid addresses this property can be used to standardize val output for even invalid addresses the final property is maximum result count this property can be set to a value of 1 to 100 and this property is applicable only for verification and suggestion mode this property can determine the highest number of suggestions that the engine might provide in the output the next is the standardization property here the first property is language here you can determine your preferred language and that you want to see in the output however if you do not provide a language to which the output can be converted it comes out in the default language for that country the second property is script also known as preferred script by default the value is country you can select any of the script properties like latin or preserve input as per your needs the next property is descriptor standardization here you can determine whether you want the longer version the shorter version the preserved input version of that descriptor length the next property is casing by default the value is country standard however you can use lower upper or mixed to get the output in your desired format the last property is alias handling you can set it to full meaning the alias value or the value in the input is preserved or you can set it to preserve, preserve official to ensure that the output provides the value that is preferred by the postal authority this may be the alias value or the official value and the last value is postal admin you can select this option to get the value which is the official name of the locality or street with these properties, we will now save them and save the verifier as well. Here, I will perform a validate to ensure that my verifier is validated. Now we will use the ver verifier asset that we created in a CDI mapping. So this is a dummy mapping which where I have a source, target and a verifier. Here I will select the verifier asset that we just created. After selecting the verifier asset, we have to perform the field mapping. Here I will map the fields.
and with this I will save the mapping and now we will run a preview to see how the data populates Here as you can see the verified transformation worked well and we got a verification status code of A and result quality of C meaning this input address was correct. For more details you can refer to the verifier asset guide. We will love to hear your feedback. You can contact us on support videos at informatica.com or on our Twitter handle. Thank you.